Today I'm going to be very long-winded about a simple yes or no question. PRS private stock, is it worth it? Now before we get into that, I have to tell you a funny story. I've already shot this video and I'm having to redo the whole thing. Why you ask? Because my fly was down. So you're welcome that you don't have to watch this video of a very cool guitar to talk about a very important subject like the PRS private stock while looking at my jeans with my fly open. So I happen to own a PRS private stock and that's why I can speak on this subject. Let me go grab mine right now. So this is a private stock P22 that I own. This was a gift to me from my wife on my wedding day. So this is a super sentimental guitar for me. Um, so I, I'm not sure if I can answer for you, uh, is it worth it? I mean, there's a lot of factors. We can't talk about what something's worth until we talk about what something cost. So the long and the short of it is the, a, PRS private stock instrument is going to cost you somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 grand. I have a lot of friends who have said, well, I could never spend $10,000 on a guitar. Now, that's, that's a tough thing to say because we're very lucky as guitar players to be able to, to be able to purchase an instrument at a very decent quality for $500 for $1,000. Um, so to say, you know, is this guitar, which, you know, could cost anywhere from, you know, 8,500, I think I saw some private stocks on Reverb today, uh, up to, you know, $20,000, you know, is this that many X number of times better than, you know, is this, uh, 10 times as good as a thousand dollar guitar or is this two and a half times as good as any other guitar that prs makes and the short answer to that is i mean no it's not that much better it's just there are things about this private stock that continue to blow me away there are things that are not available so let's talk a little bit about how you can acquire a private stock guitar. So there are two methods in which you can get a private stock. One is you can find a dealer who has ordered a private stock instrument from Paul Reed Smith. They created all their own specs and they ordered for their own store. That's how this one was purchased. This was uh, somebody else's specs and it just happened to meet every spec um, that uh, what I was looking for um, down to, you know, this is an aqua violet finish that is not available through any other channel than the private stock at the time. This has a solid rosewood neck, which is not available on any standard line. Uh, you'll see them in wood libraries and other limited runs. So 
That's the first way is you can get these from a dealer. Now, the second way is you can work with a dealer and send your own specs to Paul Reed Smith and have your custom guitar built by them. And it works just like any other custom shop. Um, you provide them some specs and they will say yes or no or whether they won't do it. Now, um, again, you're limited still to the models that they make. You can't ask uh, PRS to make you an Explorer or uh, something, something different, you know, a, a V, they don't make those guitars, but you can say, Hey, I will want this guitar with this neck profile, with these pickups, with this finish. So there's an inherent value to, to having a custom guitar that just jacks the, jacks the price up on anything. Now, the other bit of this is the quality of woods that goes into these private stock instruments is a whole echelon above what you get in a standard model. So PRS will tier their tops, uh, like this one here, um, from standard to 10 top to artist grade, and then private stock is a whole other level of, they have specific woods in their library that are specifically held only for private stock guitars. And so when the dealer goes to pick them out, they go and say, I want that top, and I want you know this specific piece of mahogany to go on the back and here's let's match up the rosewood neck or curly maple neck whatever that is um so th that's where you know some of the cost in saying hey this is a ten thousand dollar instrument is you're getting the best of the best woods and you're you know having it picked out either for you by a dealer if you're buying this off the rack so to speak or you're having your own you, those are, you're getting to pick that that costs something uh so you know if you think about this is our instrument and this is, you know, as guitar players, this is our instrument. Um, I don't play another instrument. I don't play piano. Um, I have a friend who is a tuba player. She was telling me about, um, she was getting ready to order a new tuba and it was going to cost $25,000. Now that to us sounds crazy, um, but you're probably, you know, a tuba player probably doesn't have three different um, of the exact same uh, tubas. Us as guitar players, I have, uh, you know, two or three more other PRSs that are similar to this. So if you're going to say, hey, what I rather have, you know, three core PRS guitars or one private stock, that's a debate I see in forums all the time, which would you rather have? Um, that's a that's a benefit cost benefit analysis to you. Would you have three different guitars with three different pickups, or would you really have one guitar that you can do everything with? Now, a, a private stock is also it's basically a piece of art. I mean, this is this thing hangs on my wall. The intro video of this, when I went and got out of my case, that was all for show. This thing hangs on my wall, and I walk into my office every morning, and this is one of the instruments that uh, makes me smile gets me to practice, gets me to pick up my guitar and play. Um, you know, never do I have, am I in a bad mood when I have this guitar in my hand. So again, that has a, a worth to it. So there's cost of, yeah, this thing, it's a $10,000 guitar. Now, if you're a touring musician and this is gonna be living in a flight case and being handled by TSA, you know, it's gonna get dinged up. And this one lives at home. Um, for me, uh, I had a light fixture fall off the ceiling and put the first ding in this thing. So it's no longer perfect. And that's okay. This is still, you know, it's still a work of art to me. It has, you know, it just, it has lived through these things. So any custom guitar, you know, you can put it any dollar amount and say, you know, is it worth it? You know, so, 5,000, you know, to, to you, is this worth $5,000? Because this is slightly better than uh, what a core model is. Is this 15% better? Is it 20% uh, better? Um, you know, two and a half times is a lot of, a lot of uh, you know, things to determine on whether that is better is it, uh, from a cost perspective. But what I can tell you is the craftsmanship of these is second to none. I've never picked up a private stock guitar and thought, Mm, that, that was okay, I guess. Every time I play one, and I've played you know, 10 or so at this point, they are all just jaw-dropping, inspiring instruments. So to me, these guitars are worth it, one, if you can afford it. Um, I, I do have the, the luxury of that I can afford an instrument like this. Um, I would never say this is so much more worth it than a, another instrument that someone should go into massive debt to go get one. But 
um, they're worth the wait. So the you know you're gonna wait 12 to 18 months if you custom order one of these yourselves, or if you work you know find one of these in a dealer, you know being able to say hey. You know, this is the one guitar I'm going to purchase all year, and you might, you know, put that on a credit card or do whatever you do in order to finance something like that. Um, you're not ever going to be disappointed by a private stock instrument. It just, they're just such incredible guitars. Um, I know I tend to say that, you know, this is, you know, stellar or stunning about most of the gear that I have on here. Um, one, that's because, I mean, this is my channel and these are my personal guitars or things that I buy to, to check out. Um, I don't get these sent to me just to review. I'm really reviewing my own gear as I go through this stuff. Um, yes, it, these things are a huge chunk of change, but for the smiles and everything that it gives me um, to look at this, to play it, um, to have one of these in my collection is absolutely worth it to me. Um, I'd really love to hear, you know, what your feedback are, your experiences with private stock, or your, you know, just general thoughts on instruments that are that cost this amount of money. To me, it's worth it, um, but I want to hear your thoughts as well. Um, you're going to see this guitar in a lot more videos, so please go ahead and click that subscribe button down below, and and tune into my channel to see more stuff. Play a couple more notes on the way out.